And we're back. <clears throat> uh, back from break. Woo! Uh, we, uh, <laughs> the break between episodes. I, <laughs> yeah, I was confused. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I did that to confuse you. Damn, I'm fucking flustered. So you're listening to uh, Come Town. No longer in the Anthony Cumia Studios. <laughs> We've been kicked out. We've been booted. <laughs> We're now broadcasting live from the Black Lives Matter yes. Studios. <laughs> yeah. At the top of the... The Black Pyre State Building. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we've changed all of our last names to Africa. <laughs> yeah, yeah but, I'm Bombada, Stavros Bombada. My name is my name. Is, I was going to do Nick X because you know Mullen's my slave name, right? Yeah, yeah. right but right. I decided that Nick is also my slave name, so now oh, I'm X X. Oh, X-X. tight. Now yeah. I'm Dos, Dos Keys. <laughs> You're the most Yo, they got a new man. Dos Equis guy. He mm. sucks, dude. The old yeah, guy was much better. Ass, Who's the new guy? He's having you ugly fucking. It better not be another version. old ass white man. That's what I'm tired of. It's yeah, dude. I'm as a as a uh, POC. Yeah, I'm the a Mediterranean jur- American. The jury's. Uh, yeah, you are one of the lower European. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to get the Nazis back on board. You know, you're not like a Romany uh, gypsy, but the no, Greeks no, no, are no. like a couple. Rungs above. Yeah, that. we fucked the Nazis up actually in the fucking world in World War Two. No, you didn't. No, yeah, what did you do? No. We you fucked threw feta both at Italy. Them? And they slipped on feta. No, fuck both. <laughs> the only people that actually beat the Nazis were the Russians. Everyone else thinks they did. No, we we held the Russians shit off beat them by for throwing twenty million no, bodies. You guys at them. can suck my dick. The and Russians a, beat the Nazis, and a, and a, no one else helped or did anything. We helped, no, bitch. D-Day, suck me off. D Day was nah, not. Really. Nah, we held off both Italy that's, that's and the Nazis. France Italy back, couldn't fuck our ass, and Germany had to come in. They had to do a two front war on Greece while we were throwing rocks and shit at them. We fucked them up with superior. Big dickery. <laughs> That's how we did it. There you go, baby. <laughs> also, fuck both you pieces of shit, because I was right about means and averages. Shouts out to the listeners. Oh, yo, shout out to my friend Hadas, who played that part of Cumtown for her middle school math class. <laughs> That got us all laughed at by a group of affluent Brooklyn middle schoolers. <laughs> this is like why you need to learn First this. First of all, you need to fuck a attention. child. Like, I wasn't really it. even listening. No, when shut, you guys up, were shut up. Shut up. If you're, I was if right. You're, you were both if, wrong. And you, you don't need to know the difference between means and. Average. Look at this pivot, dude. This, Look at this fucking pivot. I'm right. I'm right in this. No, no. I'm right about Fuck everything. Off. No, Fuck when it comes off. to social sciences, like what things you need to know or what's going to happen to four teenagers who commit a hate crime, <laughs> oh, I'm usually no. right. <laughs> and I'm fucking right. I'm right in that instance and I'm right in this one. You don't need, first of all, why do they have two words for a thing? <laughs> you don't need two words for a thing. Things have one name. It's a kind, who cares? The point is I'm right and we can move on now, boys. That's fine. Well, what were we talking about anyways? What was the under... Oh, income. I don't fucking yeah, remember. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Who cares? Um, but yes, the Greeks The Greeks held off the Nazis. I'm right about... I'm a mathematician, and you're both... Really, it was the Jews who held off the Nazis. Yeah, yeah they did. They were a little preoccupied. Yeah, like <laughs> oh, the, Russians, the Russians threw a bunch of people at the Nazis, but you should see what the fucking Jews did. <laughs> now, that is a war of attrition right there. Listen, we played the long game. Yeah. Wait, that's just, it's like, how much different, if there was like a Jewish army, how much different would their participation be than what actually happened? <laughs> that they just can't hold the guns and they're dropping them? Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was three years later. There was a Jewish army that, yeah. that uh, did did. Well, some they things. killed Arabs. Oh yeah, but, you know. yeah, but <laughs> yeah, Arabs are you know, they're not they're that. not like the Germans. You know how easily, you know how easily uh, they, Arabs not. die. <laughs> <laughs> You're just basing this on video games. Yeah, you know, just Battlefield. So easily. I love <laughs> how, by the way, the sinister ass Arab music yeah, on yeah, Battlefield yeah. like. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh. yeah that, anytime that Arab music is playing, you know something bad is about to happen. <laughs> well, I think the way the Jews beat the Arabs is they did the. They had a flute player go. Da 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 well, their only weapon at the time was a snake that comes out of a basket. Right, exactly, exactly. Yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I think that's true, probably. Yeah. Pol- PolitiFact says that's true. <laughs> what was the, like, uh, rhyme for that? Wasn't there, like, a childhood rhyme? Uh, there was just so, yeah, something where you do, and then there's a place... 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, and then the dick goes in, something like <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Da, da, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Wait, is that yeah. talking about ass fucking? I don't know. There's always a song. Know. There's always a song about killing your teacher, right? Yeah, it's always something like that. Also, the Jingle Bells Batman. We never hit on that on the holidays. Jingle the, Bells Batman. The Batman smells. version. I Robin think Patty Mo had a had a big did big numbers on did a tweet he? about that. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, do you think uh, DC Comics was the originator of that rhyme? Yeah. yeah. That, that was a viral it's like marketing off campaign. Ice. <laughs> it's like, it was like, like icing ad, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like an old Jewish ad man, like in a, <laughs> yeah. in a, in a we're gonna, office We're going to do a papers. song. <laughs> it's going to be a song about Batman, but look, it's going to make Batman seem bad. That's <laughs> how so you get people to sing it. And we're going to, this is, look, this is part of a long 50-year campaign that we're Jewishly calling the War on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> and it starts with Batman. <laughs> That's uh, where it all came from, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. That was the first viral marketing. Yeah. Um, do you think, can you believe that, pe like, the fact that people thought Smirnoff Ice wasn't behind icing people is yeah, hilarious. Yeah, That's so stupid. <laughs> it's like, and yeah. every fucking bro was doing like, yeah. oh, dude, it's so gay to drink Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> it's like, now you got to chug this drink, <laughs> this <Yeah>. free drink. <laughs> that shit was fucking dumb as hell, dude. Were they, they were behind it? Absolutely. Of course they were. I never thought. You it, never thought. I never like smearing off ice. Thought too hard about it. No. Yeah, I think Blake Midget is still like icing. Me. <laughs> I saw something like it's that. It's hilarious on, on on like Instagram or something. Pictures of him like drinking smearing off ice. And people but on the Blake's con. the kind of guy that would just drink smearing off ice. Yeah, yeah. Blake like could drink anything. Yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love when people talk about how like oh like oh I'm you know I was an alcoholic and I just I could get enough Belvedere. Right, you know? right, right. It's like, you no, know, real alcoholics just drink. Yeah. Any, literally, like battery acid. Cooking it wine. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Mouth e reference. Um, fuck, boy. I'm feeling sick, dude. I did the Creek in the Cave high show, the high five show, where you just get stoned as hell, and I split, like... There was like 12 blunts going around this room with just people I don't know. Yeah. And I know I got some kind of weird... Yeah. Fucking what if you got disease? AIDS from sharing blunt? <laughs> <laughs> that's happened. That can happen, dude. Yeah. That's no, how. Can't. That's how Big L died. <laughs> He's working a very large joint. No, actually, that's how he got I his think name. Big L had AIDS, but he died no. from being murdered. Bill, Big L got God. He didn't have AIDS. No, he got God, but he also had AIDS. No, he at did the not time. have AIDS. We can look this up. A we lot more people than you think had AIDS. Big L did not have AIDS. He was a goon, and he got got in the streets. Easy E had AIDS. Walt Disney had AIDS. Walt Disney definitely had AIDS. Walt, Walt Disney had AIDS. <laughs> uh, Franklin Delano Roesevelt <laughs> had AIDS. Yeah, just on the lower half of his body, though. Yeah, they he had, had yeah. stopped it. He, he, well, he fucked so much. Back then, back then, you could isolate AIDS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you know FDR ate pussy like a champion, dude, because his dick didn't work. His whole lower ba body no, didn't No, he work. just couldn't walk. I don't think polio affects your dick. I bet you it does. It, well, I know paraplegics can still use their dick. It's two different systems. But they don't get... They don't get their dick doesn't feel good. What? No, they come and shit. Yeah, they yeah, come, yeah. but it's like a Dan, machine dude, They got horse together. Yeah, Lieutenant Dan was doing that to show that he wasn't inadequate. He didn't feel good. How do you know? I can, I, dude. I, I, I read the subtext. You know, who's, you know who my hero is? <laughs> the, I read the subtext. <laughs> Forrest Gump. I love my favorite. My favorite person in all of cinema is the principal from Forrest Gump. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, well, we might have a spot for your retarded son, but it's gonna cost you. <laughs> the one that Sally Field sucks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, Sally Field is a fucking tramp, dude. She's yeah. just sucking him off. Her retarded son. She should have just put him in the fields, and then she fucking lies about. Why does he go to war? He's retarded. Let the man stay. Because he's not actually home. retarded. That's why Tropic Thunder is such a great movie. They explain it perfectly. Because he's half retarded. Because he's not full retard. Yeah, yeah. yeah like Forrest Gump, kind of slow, but not retarded. Nah, he was retarded, dude. I think he was. Yeah, I think he was like my my cousin. He owns a business. Doesn't agent. he go to the Olympics in that movie? That movie. Look, Forrest Gump sucks dick, dude. Yeah, ping pong, oh, yeah. table tennis, part, table which tennis. is a retarded sport. Um, no, it's no, not. No, it's just one that you the Chinese fucking, are good not. at. The, the retarded sports are like power walking, <laughs> uh, synchronized tug clapping, of war. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, opening a fortune cookie. Opening a fortune cookie and maybe, being able yeah, to read it. Maybe that's sticking the landing. Unfastening a seatbelt. 
Uh, yeah, flipping your eyelids inside out. The, the power lift. Oh, don't let baby, him keep hold going. On, hold on. He's uh, on a roll. Pulling your pants all the way down at the urinal. Yes. That's how they put the medals on them. They don't stand at the urinal. And, and you have to the clasp it in your ass cheeks. Yeah, yeah. Somehow it's a perfect 10 every time they do that. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, no, that is so great that he just fucks for yeah. a retarded... Eating free samples at <laughs> the mall. Go. Yeah. That's a... Well, that's, that's, a, 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 that's a crossover of fat and retarded. Yeah. That's, well, a lot of them, they share. <laughs> well, the powerlifting at the Special Olympics has to be world class. It has to be... <laughs> it's, it's, it's It's really four not, times dude. the regular yeah. powerlifting. Why really don't not. they just let him compete in the regular Olympics? They, 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 have, Those diminished, guys are, they have diminished strength. It's they don't. That's not a real thing that they have extra strength. Our strength? Yeah. Really? I, I disagree. <laughs> they just have, I, you know what I think it Based is. Based on the they have a limited, 10 of them that have beaten me up. <laughs> they have a limited pain response. <laughs> Everything's diminished. So it's not that they're stronger. It's that they just don't feel pain like you oh, do. Oh, it's like being on meth or angel dust. I just remember this kid in middle school when we were doing the president presidential fitness challenge, doing like a <laughs> hundred pull-ups. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> and then in the locker, we used to make him pull down his pants to show us. You've told this story. Giant monster. So you molested a retarded kid. <laughs> We didn't molest him. We no, were just like with your eyes. Yeah. Robert, did anybody touch his dick? Ever? No one Even touched as a bit? it. No way. Even as a he bit. thought it was cool that we we all laughed. I mean, <laughs> we all laughed. That because is it was so the precursor to molestation. You there understand was no that, molestation, right? and I was not part of it. I was just <laughs> oh, now wait thirty seconds ago. It's we used to get him to show us. His no, dick. I used to obviously always tattle to the to <laughs> Mr. Pryor, our British gym teacher, who we found out uh, throughout the year had testicular cancer and we made so many ball jokes <laughs> to this poor gentleman is he dead i don't know i think he's alive testicular cancer is pretty treatable right you just get your, your yeah you just not, get if off. not if you're british because mo all, most <laughs> they're british proud men, yeah they only have one ball anyways so yeah it's, it's very true. small yeah <laughs> Testicular that's, cancer that's for the part of, <laughs> That's part of like uh, Their circumcision process there is They have the other ball removed And the other one shrunk with tea mm, Yeah it makes true. sense Testicular yeah. cancer for the British They're very proud So it's like a It's like a British naval captain Going down with his ship Yeah you know? Oh I the, see the, Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> If my bollocks are inflamed I'm going to die from yeah. it I will not elect for For surgery Yeah This is my one bollock I've been given <laughs> <laughs> they insist, bollocks? They insist on yeah, dying from testicular bollocks. cancer. <laughs> they insist. The number, the number two disease in, in, in Britain is, of course, bad posture. Yeah. And gingivitis, number three. Yeah. Gingivitis. Scoliosis is basically it's terminal over there. Yeah. <laughs> you just loop over till you're yeah. sucking If you can't dick. stand up straight, you know, yeah, they, yeah. they put you to death. Oh, so that's an execution type situation. Sort of. Yeah. Um, and if you stand up really straight, is that how you get to be the guy who guards the queen with those hats? Yeah. The exactly. Marge Simpson hats? The yeah. Marge Simpson hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I always thought that. Th is up. that a real... Can yeah. you really... Because in every, like... In so many pieces of media, it's like, oh, they can't move at all. They can't do anything, like... I'm sure so many people get arrested thinking that. Oh, yeah, yeah of course. For sure. Yeah. Like, well, you then, couldn't, like, suck the their Simpsons. dicks. In The Simpsons, Homer is like, they go to England, and Homer is like fucking with one of them, and he just gets punched in the face. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. What do they do? They guard Buckingham Palace? Yeah, What a What a trash name for Buckingham a palace. palace. Yeah. Let's go Buckingham, Buckingham yeah. Wild. Welcome yeah. to Swash Bucket Palace. <laughs> so we really put the queen... Um, when's that bitch gonna die, though? When's that queen? Let's talk They always have more queens, dude. Who's the next queen? Charles. 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 He has to, oh, he has he, to be trans. King, <laughs> king, queen Charles. King Regnant? Is that what it is? I'm not calling him king. I'm calling him queen, dude. Queen Charlie. There's queen always Chuck. Queen, baby. Yeah, I've always been Team Chuck. Uh, he got cucked by that, by that but, tramp, Diana. It was some, like, Muslim guy, yeah. right? I was and, then they, and then they killed them in that tunnel. We don't know what happened in that tunnel. Dodi Al Fayed. Dodi Al Fayed is that his name? Yeah, yeah, Damn, yeah. That's a good pull. 
Yeah, well, it's oh, well, I'm I'm a huge Princess Diana expert. Actually, <laughs> I had the Princess Diana Beanie Baby, yeah. the purple one, which came out the day before she died. Yeah, by the way, that's, Wait, that's nah. really interesting. That is true. Um, Whoa, yeah, they knew. Dude, I think that Ty, the Beanie Baby company, yeah. was behind behind it to to, to the goose sales. Yeah, that they were going like, downhill. That seems like uh, the plot of like one of the shittier later <laughs> Pierce Brosnan James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it, it, with uh, would you see? Tom Tomorrow Never Dies. Yeah, where they get that the might be the worst James news. Bond movie of yeah, all. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty bad. The only good news, Mr. Bond, is bad news. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that, Tomorrow Well, Never Dies. basically, was, the, the plot of Tomorrow Never Dies is James Bond has to stop Gawker, essentially. <laughs> That's who the bad guy in that movie is just Nick Denton. He's like a weird gay British guy that just loves bad news. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's like what? starting some war with China. Wait, who China. played that guy? Uh, Malcolm McDowell. No, not Malcolm McDowell. Um, Andy oh, Daly. Fuck. Uh, Andy Dick. Andy. No, I can't remember that actor's name now. Fuck. Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Andy Circus. He was in a. He was doing. He was a. Gorilla. I knocked you off course. He was a CGI gorilla. First yeah. of all, fuck Andy Serkis. What are you talking about? He's that the best actor in Hollywood. Sucks dick, dude. Anyone can do that shit. Oh, the fucking walk around on all fours and look sad. Jonathan Price. Jonathan Price. Yeah. How do you feel about Andy Serkis? He sucks dick, right? I think he's the best actor in Hollywood. They put small little bubbles. That shit sucks They put my the dick, small dude. motion bubbles Any on his face. Do that. So they get all his facial acting. That shit is like PlayStation level facial acting. I don't know, dude. I think that... Uh, I could do that so easily. Oh, I'm sad, dude. Golem sad. There you go, dude. That's a hundred million dollars. He was good in the apes. Did you see the apes? The apes, he just scowled. He's a fucking monkey. That shit is not hard to do. Whoa. You know, I Back think... Back on the, Anthony you know, yeah, I think yeah, was, right. uh, <laughs> The best actor is the guy inside R2-D2. Yeah, that that <laughs> is way more impressive than jumping around in a fucking scuba Why, suit. Why, because was really sweaty and frowning and... Yes, because it's hot. That's harder. That's <laughs> Way harder than fucking just being. What a was he doing inside R two D two? Is R two D two in the Jacking new uh, Star Wars movie? No, no. But they have a fucking that they have a droid. like C three PO. Yeah, he's just like jacked. He's an autistic C three PO. Wait, wait. There's yeah. a jacked C three PO. Yeah, he's just yeah, a yeah. big ass fucking he's black, black C three PO. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, fucking... but he talks the same way. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, he's okay. not. So he's, he's not like, like the guy that plays Elmo. No, C three PO is like a big black guy that just has some weird gay voice. No, 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 no. This guy wasn't like a gay British guy. He was just more of like an emotionless. No, he was a gay British guy. Was he? Yeah. He talked exactly like C-3PO. C-3PO talked like someone was uh, always pulling his he pants he turned up. it down a little. Yeah, he's <laughs> oh, not right now. <laughs> C-3PO is just talk, talks like he's just like, you're 30 seconds too quick into gay sex. He's just like, <laughs> I, didn't know they had, I didn't know they had a black C-3PO now. That's so funny. I mean, he just, he doesn't he's not talk black. black at all. He just Dude, colored I, black. That would have been cool if he talked I'm black. I'm sorry, that Gamergate <laughs> shit is fucking real. I'm like, I'm back into gaming now and like literally every game, it's like, yeah, you play, uh, play a gay trans black woman <laughs> that's not true yeah no it is true fifa's like that i haven't played the fifa mode. fifa you have to play an interracial whose white father whose abusive white father has left <laughs> has abandoned him well so now he's, he has to be raised by his black mom but that is that's every probably british, one battlefield is like a lot british of british soccer sure, sure, sure. Sure. every poor british but battlefield person. one all you play is a black guy it's yeah. like World War One, and which that's is when fair. the army I'm was sure still was segregated. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they like they have it as which you know I don't give a shit. Do they whitewash the the segregation in World War One? Uh, no, there's just no white people you can. What was ask. the first war that was desegregated? Vietnam? No, World War Two. Uh, no, World War Two is still segregated. That's think, when it happened. In the, I thought it happened like in the middle of World War or after. No, World I War think II. it was Vietnam. I think everyone was getting. No, it would have been Korea because it was. It definitely happened after World War Two. Everyone was blazing up in, Viet, in Vietnam, and they were yeah. like, "You know, you're black, I'm white. We're not so different." Yeah, it was the un unifying war. Yeah, dude. yeah. Everyone yeah. fucked horse together. This shit sucks, dude. Well, there were like we're all getting sucky, I think there, sucky. Yeah, I think we're all getting the <laughs> sucky, sucky. Long time, we love you. Long time. There, there were, there were like uh, Operation uh, Sucky, Sucky, <laughs> Fucky, Fucky. <laughs> there were like in, integrated regiments and shit. Like, because I know, like uh, Pershing. Didn't he have, didn't, like, Pershing control, like, black regiments or something while he was, yeah, but prior I, to him being a general? Yeah, I think so. I think World War II is when it started. No, no, that would be, oh. that would be, like, uh, like the Spanish-American War. Oh, Spanish-American. That goes, yeah, way, like, Pers like, like, uh, around, guy? like, the turn of the century. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I'm sure, yeah. Obviously, they always used fucking black people to fight. Like, they just, yeah. whenever they could, they would use black yeah, people yeah, to of do course. Un, yeah. f- uncool shit. That's what America's history is. It's just yeah. like, mm-hmm. shit we don't want to do, shit white people didn't want to do, they just made black people do. So I'm sure black people fought in every war. And we're that's back. the same way, that's the same way fucking Well, they France. actually wouldn't. They wouldn't let them, they would have to have like supply rolls and shit and be right. like cooks. Yeah, I mean, they would, but they would make them do shit in every war. Yeah. Right? Were they were there black combat? Bata- oh yeah, glory. Never mind. Hell I was yeah. gonna ask the Civil War, but then obviously, oh I yeah, the yeah, history yeah. By uh, watching a brilliant movie with Denzel Washington, and Matthew Broderick. Well, you know what that doesn't show is that a lot of a lot of black people were actually happy and fought, fought for the South. It's kind of like yeah, being yeah. unfair, you know. Yeah, like, they really it was wanted a simpler to. life. They were trying to sign yeah. up, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're back on the Anthony <laughs> Kubiak. <Kuminer. laughs> Dinesh D'Souza, he's doing a fucking uh, a fucking uh, goddamn documentary about that shit. That racist Indian guy, right? Is he about how the blacks wanted to fight? In World I don't War know. It seems like in the Civil War. Alley. Oh no! Did you ever see that movie uh, CSA? The Spike Lee Cock movie. Suck anonymous. No. We're about like if the South had won. Oh, yeah. cool! Yeah. That's that's a cool idea. Well, it, I, 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 I remember Lee. seeing it. I remember seeing from Spike nah, Lee. Nah. I remember seeing the fucking trailers for it, and it didn't look cool because it was like everything's the same except there's slaves, <laughs> and it's like yeah, I don't. I don't think everything else would be the fucking same. Well, right, there wouldn't right. be any peanut butter. We know that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Whoa, fuck that shit. Dude. I, I would love it if he made that movie and fucked up and he's like, oh, yes, yeah, so I guess white people invented rap music. <laughs> like, it's just utopia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just flying cars. Right. I mean, technology would probably be further along. <laughs> if yeah. you have more opportunity have to exploit labor. labor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, think about it. Think, like, incorporate... I mean, I guess... Isn't there arguments uh, that, like, the Industrial Revolution kind of did away with the need for slavery anyways? Uh, there is that argument. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it, tech needs it for, like, the precision manufacturing. Imagine if you could have slaves making the iPhones. You... We that would keep the jobs too, right? We could keep the jobs in America. We could all save like probably like yeah. twenty bucks a pop on our iPhones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Trump. Trump. You know how many you know people I, would sign up for yeah. slavery? Again you know, what, you know what'd be great is you keep them in cotton, but you get slaves really into screen printing, <laughs> and then you get on-demand custom T-shirts whenever you want. Literally any idea you think oh, of. You have a big awesome. plantation, and you you know you get a, a you, T-shirt plantation. So it's, it's yeah. vertical integration. You know, I want a shirt, and it's got Tony Dan's, and it says "Who's the boss on it?" I have a specific idea. Of how, or how about this? Sure. And hold it's me just closer, Tony mm. Danza. Oh, I like that. Yeah, but yes, that's great. Wait, you get rid of so you get rid of all copy copyright laws too for the for these. No, it's factories. not copyright infringement if the slaves do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, not, like, the slave will be sued and executed. They're not making for, any money. For, 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 <laughs> that's how you do it. <laughs> they get they get all the. Legal well, I think that this is a very decent uh, concept. We should actually try to pitch it to uh, the new. Attorney General uh, Jefferson Jeff- Beauregard <laughs> Beauregard Plan. Sessions Yeah PG Is he, did, he, he, did he get The confirmation happening today right or I the saw first hearing? I saw there was a tweet That people were making fun of today That said uh, say, Calling him Jefferson Beauregard uh, Sessions Is is exactly the same As calling him Barack Hussein Obama Oh my no, it's god not. It's a reference That's to so like A confederate general <laughs> We're not making fun of him For having an ethnic name It's <laughs> so fucking so retarded <laughs> I hate dude. They're like, listen, sucks. he's bad, but using his full name. Liberals that's are just fucking a, pussy ass motherfuckers, they're the worst. dude. They're the worst. Let's go after these pieces of shit. They're never gonna win. No, again. the argument against calling him Beauregard is that it's like literally we'll do nothing. Did you know, yeah. learn nothing from the Trump thing? <laughs> right, right, yeah. right, right. It's right, because right. it's weak. You sound Absolutely. like a fucking retard. Exactly. You know, oh, that's the argument. Uh, Beauregard. Check out this bumper sticker slogan I'm going to run with for the next fucking four years. Right. It's not some kind of idea of decorum. Yeah. Like Republicans give a fuck. They're trying to take everyone's health care away right now. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to just fuck. They don't give a fuck about you. Oh, fuck, man. man. Beauregard. But it, hopefully that motherfucker doesn't get in. I don't fucking know. He's, he's actually he's, like Satan incarnate. It's you you scary, heard that? You dude. heard the KKK quote, right? No, I. Didn't. That was my favorite. Oh yeah, the one about weed. About weed. <laughs> <laughs> His big beef with the KKK was that they smoke weed. Yeah, well, he's like, well, it's not like they're smoking weed. No, he, was, he said Wait, he, he, thought, he, he thought they were like decent. He he knew some KKK people. He thought they were decent until he found out they smoked weed. <laughs> like that was the fucking deal breaker for this hate crime group. Oh man, 
said, he's actually like that's the definition of the worst person in the world. Yeah, right? it's it's scary, dude. But whatever, dude. Yeah, we're gonna fucking, all... we're gonna podcast through this. We're gonna um, we're gonna be here for the we're we're part of the resistance, right? Yeah, we're gonna help Hillary. Yeah, is Hillary gonna be mayor or is she gonna be like uh, uh, Hillary's governor? mayor would be great. Hillary, they just they dug into that on the last chapo, so I feel like oh, did they we missed the boat on that one? Damn, I would start taking shits on the subway. Yeah, with, with Tom. Myers. Well, I was saying that's who she's gonna Clean lose. Up, that's who she's gonna lose the election to is the guy that takes shits on the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Some homeless guy in dangerous Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> she literally. Now I got two teeth and I got a shit to take, and if this damn bitch thinks she's gonna keep me. Out of the mansion, she can suck my cock. Listen, everyone's like, he can't talk about women that way. He's like, you're goddamn right, I can. <laughs> you fucking cunt. I like Dangerous Eddie because he says what's on his mind. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. you know. You know who I want to see back when is he the, used is the that rent. knife to threaten that Starbucks barista. <laughs> <laughs> when he, when that he brought knife that knife made out of squirrel bones, right. sharpened <laughs> squirrel bones. <laughs> he brought that pen knife into that Starbucks and threatened people. It made me feel like you know this is a New York. Yorker that I can relate to. <laughs> it's true. Nah, dude, I want the rent is too damn high guy back. Yeah. That guy fucking ruled. What's he up to, dude? I don't know. Because you know what? The rent Not is... Not paying rent, huh? <laughs> that was Apparently the... rents are dropping. That They're was dropping off so. in New York, yeah. There was a no rent. Longer, it's no longer a uh, 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 seller's market. I was told that. But uh, Yeah, I think that there was a rent freeze like two years ago where they like... I think de Blasio said you, you're not allowed to raise de Blasio, rent. Yeah, maybe. that'd be cool. That was his. That's how he said his name. <laughs> if he just changed his shit to de Blasio 420, blaze it up. Mm, that's I'm why fucking, I voted for I'm him. Voting for him. <laughs> well, he already did. That's not his name. His name isn't de Blasio. What is it? It's like Walter fucking uh, McLean or something. <laughs> Wait, that's that his name. Malcolm X. He has some. Yeah, he, he no. Like, yeah, no. He adopted like an Irish or an Italian name because it sounds more New Yorker or some Get bullshit. Get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, his real name isn't fucking De Blasio. What? Yeah. Hold on, let me look it up. His real name is Talib Quelli. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if he's, he's just like the uh, Adam? I can't have you going to the phone while Nick's going to the phone as no, well, dude. Sorry, sorry, Come sorry. Come on, sorry. man. I'm What's with in you, there? With What's you. in there? Nothing. You tell me. No, I want to know. Nothing, what was that dude. notification? It might have buzzed. I looked at it. Yeah. What was it? it was yeah. Uh, Bill, Bill de Blasio, <laughs> born Warren Wilhelm Jr. Wilhelm? Wilhelm. What? Yeah. So he's a German? Yeah, he's like a German. What goddamn crowd fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my cool, god I don't have a cool De Niro style Italian That fucks black ladies <laughs> no. As my mayor Yeah dude. no It's some bullshit Trick to get people To think he's like You know Like a Cuomo Oh that sucks I'm changing my name then <laughs> Yeah To To Vito Gabagool I'm saying I wanted to change my name To Richard Dick Penis Nixon <laughs> You gotta have quotations Around both <laughs> It's a Four word All hyphenated name Yeah <laughs> Fuck man I gotta change my name dude for show business Dude we are real New Yorkers now We've been here for over a year Each yeah. All of us Oh I guess his mom's name is de Blasio Oh, oh His what father was of German ancestry And his maternal grandparents were Italian immigrants Did he grow up with them? His grandfather his Giovanni was, shit. was from the city oh, of S S Giovanni de Blasio de is a great name Santaga de God, God fucking Italy man <laughs> Sant there, All Guess how many Fucking apostrophes Are <laughs> in the name Of this fucking four, town Four Four uh, it's How many vowels? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> they love vowels. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Gata de Gatti Benevento. <laughs> Wapolini. <Yeah. laughs> Mozzarella. Yeah. Pepperone. Hey, it's me. Wouldn't it be awesome to go, in, to be, to go into a fucking store, uh, uh, pizza place and be like, yeah, can I have one slice of pepperone? <laughs> Just like, I love it. It's like when uh, Latino newscasters are always like, uh, tonight in Miami, there yeah. was a... <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do it with that. Problems facing that Latino community. Yeah. <laughs> but they never do it when it's like, uh, earlier this morning, an illegal immigrant from Mexico ran over an entire uh, field trip of children <laughs> while drunk uh, off uh, tequila. <laughs> you know, they don't do it in those situations. It's always when they open a foundation for battered women or something. <laughs> Why not do it across the board <laughs> when they're embracing the other parts of their culture? 
that so don't true. obey, you know, speed limits or <laughs> I think that's <laughs> have insurance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be a really funny. Insurance. He was <laughs> drunk driving. <laughs> In his uh, El Camino. El, 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 el Calima Grande. <laughs> was a drunk driving. Uh, <laughs> the other newscaster's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I'm trashed. <laughs> I got drunk with the weather girl trying to fuck her again. <laughs> That she dude won't on fuck me. that dude on <laughs> CNN, Rick Sanchez. Do you remember him? From yeah, a couple yeah, years yeah, ago? yeah. He killed someone. He killed somebody, what? and then he yeah, just yeah. cried about it like a fucking fifteen-year-old girl. And they're like, hey, "It's okay." Yeah, yeah like it turned out that he was probation. drunk at a Dolphins game. Yeah, and then like what? he hit fucking someone, fucking slammed his truck into somebody, pinned them, killed them, killed him, drove what home, drove home. Yeah, what? Yeah, and then like ten years later, he's on CNN, and then it comes out later that oh yeah, ten years ago he killed someone. Yeah, wait. So this was post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a whole career. He worked his way wow. up to to major cable news. Did, yeah. did he get fired or anything or no? Uh, well, he's not around anymore. No, nah, man. If you're rich, you can do whatever the fuck you but want. But is he even rich? I mean, he's on TV, which which it complements being rich. Right. It helps. You right. you really can. You know. Damn. I mean, look at Casey Affleck, who's who, who, which by the way, if you didn't hear the story, uh, he tried to have sex with a woman he was working with on the set of uh, I don't know some fucking stupid. Oh movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you know, hitting on a woman is basically the same as. Rape. I saw a meme that Wait, was like, "What happened? Uh, that's it. Uh, that's all that happened." He invited himself into her hotel room, and she was like, "Leave," and then he did. But that's really? rape. That's it's rape. To I do saw that. a meme that was like, uh, "Yeah, accusations of rape really destroy a career." And it's like Casey Affleck holding a Golden Globe, Woody Allen holding an Oscar, mm. and it's like, "All right, but yeah, he just he just tried to fuck a girl." <laughs> like I didn't yeah. I didn't know the Casey. Yeah, yeah. It's like, absolute shit. horseshit. The Casey An- or Affleck one is horseshit. The Casey, Casey Anthony, Anthony also also horseshit. horseshit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That little girl deserved to die. I agree. <laughs> And you know what? She was a mom, but she's allowed to have fun, too. Hi, I'm I'm Nancy Grace, and if you think your child should be murdered next, please call in. (laughs) Send us the details. We will find a killer to come and murder your child, and we will cover it for seven weeks. To rape your baby. (laughs) Things are not going well here at the Nancy Grace Studios, and we've got a new method to make money. We're actually, we're going to be proactive about it. We are going to murder your toddler (laughs) in an effort to boost ratings she well she loves to say baby baby Baby. yeah Yeah, she doesn't say uh, child or you know infant she goes baby they fucked that baby. What happened? She never had kids or anything. Did she, she get was raped? Like a prosecutor or something, right? No, she, she was, was a, a prostitute. prostitute. Oh, no, no. She was a, <laughs> prostitute. She was a prostitute for yeah. uh, 15 years. Her husband nice. or her fiancé got murdered, and then she turned into, like, a, the fucking Hulk. She, like, that's, she turned, yeah, that's what happens, though. Like, fucking John Walsh. John Walsh from John Walsh, America's the Most best Wanted. thing to ever happen to him was, was having his, his son kidnapped Christ. and beheaded. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Beheaded? Yeah, oh, he yeah. made a whole career off Wait, this is, like, American-style beheading? American. This is, this is most this wanted, isn't, yeah. This isn't, like, terrorist shit? Yeah, yeah. That's because a non-terrorism beheading Did he get beheaded? Is hilarious. Yeah, they found his head in, like, the uh, some body of water. Well, maybe uh, it just fell off. It, oh, it was, it was like a... <laughs> it was like a... It was like a... Get maybe the, the kid's got a loose head. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, you don't know. Sometimes these kids, they got loose heads you like You don't that. know. Like a Lego man. <laughs> the, the, the bodies are so small and the heads are so big on some of these kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but uh, especially no, now he's, my wife, she was drinking the entire pregnancy. Now he's now he's <laughs> kid's got a huge head. He's famous off off you know his son being murdered. Now I can't imagine the pain of what that's like to go through. But I think I would like to be famous. <laughs> <laughs> if I, maybe I should have a kid and and what if we kill hire Adam? someone to what if murder? we kill Adam? Wait, hold on. This is the plot. If you guys kill me, the podcast will probably do great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the plot to the Come Town movie. Oh, let's hear is it. Is we all adopt a son and then pay someone to murder him <laughs> so he can become the three fathers. <laughs> that are famous for having a murdered son. And it's like the producers, except we kill a boy. We're in a polyamorous gay relationship. Yeah. Three men. It's perfectly normal. 2017. Mm-hmm. Do we get away with it? How does it end? Of course we get away with we become it. become famous? Yeah, we get we fuck so many girls afterwards. So the kid is just like... <laughs> that's like the first 15 minutes is we adopt a kid and we kill it. And then the rest is us just fucking and sucking in Hollywood and, and shit. buying PlayStations. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love it. Let's yeah. let's fucking get a treatment going. Uh, <laughs> what happens in Act Three? They find out we murdered the kid. So 
What do we have to do? We have and we to, get a MacArthur Gre- have, Genius uh, Grant. So we lose everything. And then, uh, yeah, we win the Millennium Prize. Yeah. <laughs> we figure out some math problem. And that's how we get, we get a million dollars for doing it. Yep. And if we didn't kill that kid, we would never figure out that tough math thing. Yeah. yeah. And then we have it. We do a boat. We get a boat on international yeah. waters. We get, yep. And then we can murder all the kids. We want. <laughs> yeah. Murder more kids because at that point we're addicted to it. <laughs> yeah. And really, it's an allegory for fame and cocaine. Mm-hmm. 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 Children represent cocaine yeah. in this. I love it. I still have that coke. We should do. I mean, I'm feeling sick now, but yeah, sometime soon this weekend. No, no, I gotta weekend. take it easy. I don't, yeah, it's been making. It's I don't like it. Yeah, I just want to. You guys game are coke now, fiends, dude. though, dude. I just do. I, a, I just do it. That's party. the fucking problem. I, like I sat and just did, did like a bag by myself. <laughs> when a couple weeks ago, and it's like, all right, I got I cannot do this for another six months. I've never done that. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Lewis. <laughs> well, I mean, that's why I, I can't do anything. It's yeah, like, you're, you're. The only reason I was doing a blow at all is because I don't particularly like it. And then it was like, you know, I can do this thing that I don't really enjoy because it's too fucking expensive, but it's just been like all over the place lately. Right. And yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll abuse anything. Of course. Literally fucking anything. I'll, I'll turn it into a fucking addiction. What's the dumbest addiction you ever had except PlayStation? Power tools. Right. I guess that's yeah. So, so that was clear. definitely really fucking yeah. stupid. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, it's cool. You're just buying you make tools shit with that. for no fucking reason. You can yeah. make shit out of cocaine. Shut up. Don't tell them it's cool. Power tools is cool. If it's you're like, stupid to just keep buying fucking tools just in general, just to have like. Well, yeah, around. if he doesn't have like a shop and he's not working on stuff yeah, he all the time. He lives on a fucking he a sleeps four on a, by six fucking on room. A piece of plywood. <laughs> yeah. He sleeps on a piece of wood. But you should come make a fucking little shelf in my kitchen, dude. Yeah, I'll do that. I have no problem making a shelf. Yeah, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get a sta- a juicing a blending station in my kitchen. Oh, someone just DM me and ask them to retweet them. Ugh. Don't don't do that. <laughs> that's like the one thing. Uh, that's poor ass etiquette. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's not like it's not like oh, I'm worried about my fucking brand or whatever. But people are going to be like, why are you fucking retweeting this person? Right. Well, and is also, it is it good? Is it funny? I don't know. He didn't even show me a specific tweet. He just asked me to retweet them. Is he cute? Do you want to fuck him? No. Well, Would you trade yeah. retweets for head? Yes. I would, of course. Well, of course. So I'm open for... Me and Adam I don't wouldn't. have that many followers. I'm worried about the integrity of my... Uh, yeah, that is that is your, your magnum timeline? opus, dude. Yeah. The, the mullen like thing to, that... Uh, fuck. Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, it's good. Just sneeze directly on the microphones that aren't <laughs> fixed to any one of us. We all no, share them. he's not them. sick. He's not sick, though. I'm not yeah. that sick. I'm a little sick. You really... I mean, you just couldn't move the mic away to... I did. I went like... He no, did on his hand. You sneezed it was mostly on his talking hand. microphone. I did it on my hand. Um, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, well, but anyway, we will t- trade retweets for head, me and Adam. We don't have that many followers. Well, I'll, tra- I'll trade less for head. I mean, more, actually. More? I don't know. I don't know how that works. What's so, the most you would trade for head? The most I'd trade for head? Yeah. A jewel, a ruby. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For one precious blowjob. coin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do. I do like a like a one of those one of those fancy uh, nickels. From, a uh, buffalo nickel. Buffalo nickels. Um, um, what's that called when you're into uh, prostitution? When you're into coins, being gay, or uh, stamps? They have like weird names. Being autistic. Whatever. I don't even know why I brought that up. <laughs> Stampers? <laughs> no, there's like a r- stupid fancy Lickers? name for people that collect coins and stamps. Collectors? No. American Pickers? No. You guys ever watch American Pickers? <laughs> no. What is that? It's, it's like Storage two, Wars? It's two guys going around doing Storage Wars. Doing Storage Wars. They do Storage Wars. Yeah, they just go to basements and shit and try and get fucking like poor hoarders to mm-hmm. to give them the most prized possession for less money than they know it's worth. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. I, I'm looking up. Uh, I found a diamond encrusted menorahs. <laughs> <laughs> How much? Uh, this one's uh, $2,300. Yeah, I can get you That's better. That's not bad. I can get yeah. you better. <laughs> you can get me better? I get, I, for you, I can get you better. Dude, let's buy a diamond encrusted menorah. You know what I want? I want a menorah that's diamond encrusted, but all, all, all of the diamonds are all in the shape of like dollar signs <laughs> all over the menorah. That'd Is there cool. a Jewish rapper with a menorah chain? Now that's something. Is there a Jewish rapper? There was... There was a... Uh, Modest Yahoo. There's Modest Yahoo. Modest Yahoo to me is like... 
Eminem. Not as Yahoo and Bill Maher are the two most embarrassing people. Not as Yahoo world. stinks. Yeah. Yeah. He stinks. I remember my parents like came to me with a CD one day. I was like in high school. They're like, "All right, Adam, bear with me. Don't interrupt me. Bear with me. It's a it's a reggae guy, okay? But he's also a rabbi." And I was like, "Get the fuck (laughs) out of my room right now!" (laughs) You know. And then I go to school and like kids are listening to it. He did have a public school. He did have a run. Just regular kids were listening to it. He had that one song that was just like kind of okay. But yeah, that I was thrown for a fucking loop. I was like, I had no idea how but my mom got not, that one right. He's also yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made no they sense. They just lucked into it. Jews will claim everything Jewish is cool. That's like that's <laughs> that's a fucking that's their go to move. Claiming anything Jewish is any time cool? a Jew is in anything. My friend sent me a cool. picture. Man, Shapiro's pretty cool. Years yeah. ago, my friend sent me this picture. It was some Drake. like some Israeli like tourism board uh, promotional poster. Oh my god! From like 1991, <laughs> and so like anything from 1991 isn't going to look cool. Right, but right, right. Uh, it's these like uh, like uh, really just sort of crusty looking Jewish girls like uh, at the Dead Sea, right? In the Dead Sea, yeah. and they're floating in the Dead Sea, you and they got Tevas on. You showed me. They got Tevas is on and they're floating in the Dead Sea and then on the bottom it just says being Jewish is cool <laughs> oh yes can we get our hands I fucking, on that I wish I, I can't even find the picture anymore oh, there's like died laughing. Oh, there's sorry. like these new um, damn I want that this is yeah. this is super fucking embarrassing but there are these new like Hasbara Facebook pages that like try to do fight the Israeli uh, anti uh, you know the Israeli propaganda war through mm-hmm. like memes. Yeah, hell yeah. And they're like that feeling when the Palestinians want to say that you occupy. <laughs> <laughs> they are. It's I it's probably one, there were some. It's bizarre. one of the most embarrassing things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that shit's. I love people just trying to get on. There were some super bizarre Russian like memes going around last week. Did you see that shit? Well, the yeah, the Russian embassy when they kicked out the diplomats tweeted a picture of was it a duck or. Something. It was a duck, and it was like, <laughs> it's like, uh, and then Wendy's also tweeted a Pepe Wendy. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, Wendy's tweeted Pepe Wendy. Just fuck it, and then apologize because it's racist. Yeah, this is like the word. Like the DNC fired their entire like video production staff, like on congressional like video production staff, and they're like, we need to refocus on memes. Oh God! They like people thinking that like that that's the future. I mean, I can't wait till Bordell is a political consultant. <laughs> just he probably is, dude. <laughs> probably already. I hope is. Bordell gets killed by the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> that would be such a fucking. He tries good to movie. work with them. <gasps> oh, he would switch sides so quick. Yeah, Bordell would if the Russians are have him. a side. <laughs> yeah. He's devoid of any kind of allegiance to anything. <laughs> That's what I mean, though. There's no sides. He's he not would a guy you like have to worry Putin about fan. being like two faced or whatever. He doesn't even have one face. Right. He's right. like a ball of putty. Yeah. Yeah, he's constantly tweeting things. Yeah. You can't really be mad at Brandon because it's like being mad at a fucking GIF. <laughs> <laughs> he has no personality. He's just repeating loop of something that was stolen from some other thing. Black people. You don't even understand the underlying reference anymore. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, it's Friday and you ain't got no job. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, man. And D- Debo coming, um, whatever. We love Brandon; he's our friend. <laughs> Stop harassing him, guys. No, oh, please no. continue harassing. Him. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I don't give a shit about harassing Brandon because Brandon doesn't care. He's also a public figure too. Yeah, he's a public figure now, and he's got plenty of money. So let's rob Brandon, dude. I think he does care, though. He cares. Yeah, but we should rob him. Oh yeah, we should definitely. Oh, we should, dude. Ski we mask. should make him think it's somebody else too. Yeah, we should yeah. set him up and rob him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Brandon, uh, you got booked for this DJ set about <laughs> nine blocks away from the train station. <laughs> it's in an industrial yeah. area. It's yeah. like a warehouse kind of party. <laughs> it's real underground. <laughs> It's like very industrial yeah. warehouse. Don't vibe. bring your phone though, because it'll fuck up the DJ equipment. <laughs> that is how he DJs. Yeah, he plugs his phone into an aux. Ah, uh, fuck. So what else is going on with you boys, huh? Um, nothing. I've been getting a little bit of that 
seasonal affective disorder. Yeah, you, you getting know? sad? Woo, getting sad, boy. <clears throat> I feel you. Sat on my couch this uh, weekend, watched a good 14 hours of some quality NFL football entertainment. I watched uh, a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race, which is an incredible show. That's probably better than what I was doing. It was four terrible games this weekend. Yeah, they the were, wild card they round really was terrible. Um, um, although, the, did, you, did you guys watch... Uh, the National College Football. I watched that, was that a last night. Game. Yeah, and I Wait, don't give a fuck about college. You know what I found out football. last night? The coach of Clemson is this guy Dabo Sweeney. Dabo Sweeney. Dude. Dabo what a Sweeney. Name. Okay, so I looked up on his Wikipedia page how the fuck his name got to be Dabo. When he was born, he was a baby. His older brother was eighteen months. And he was trying to say "dat boy," really. Yeah. <laughs> so his name, which is which is already not how the w- the way you say those words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, his yeah, name. Yeah. Is so he was trying. He was attempting to say something incorrect. Yeah, and then made it a, another level further. So his oh, name yeah, is yeah. literally "dat boy Sweeney." That boy Sweeney. Swinney. That boy Sweeney. It's not even Sweeney. It's Swinney. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's sick. Dabo. Yeah, that's a great name. Also, oh uh, shit, what up, dude? Yeah, he's just a guy from the South, right? Where's Dabo from? Some shithole. Yeah. North Florida or something. I don't oh, know. Yeah, dude. Some, just a piece of shit. I want to be named Dabo. Dabo? Yeah, that's a sick name. Dabo sounds like a rapper's name. It sounds a lot like Quavo. <laughs> Dabo and Quavo could be friends. Uh, raindrop dr- uh, drop, drop top. Um, yeah. So you're getting sad, Did you guys watch that uh, Golden Globes? I, I didn't know. I did not Until C- Come Town gets nominated I'm not gonna watch Okay so um, I've never watched Any award show I don't understand the point Of watching award shows I've never watched, watched the Oscars With my parents I've watched Only when it's I've never sat down And put it on Right right I don't right. go to mm-hmm. like a, You know a I, got br- br- I got brought to One Golden Globes party ever What is the Golden Globes It's TV or is movies? It's everything It's the Hollywood Foreign Press is I don't it, understand I don't understand music too like, Not music uh, the the like why Musical. I would sit there and watch actors do the one thing that makes me fucking like completely hate actors like the part of their personality that I'm trying to ignore like, when I'm watching not the movie. acting part not the acting part the right. thing that they're the absolute worst at which is fucking humility humility yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. why would you do that yeah no it's crazy yo yeah well uh will they see some titties in go- ball gowns yes Queen Meryl Streep came hoard at our president. Um, <laughs> the the P E O T U S the president elect Piotis the yeah. Piotis the Piotis well, it's, yeah it's like the Latin spelling of Piotis <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah I don't give a shit I don't even know why we're talking about it do you Meryl? guys care I don't care uh, Meryl don't care my grandma Everyone... looks a little bit like Meryl Streep oh yeah yo did I tell you guys you know my Your grandma that fucks no my yeah my grandma that fucks and that <laughs> just got a divorce yeah. All right, this is why. Hold on, just stop jumping around. What did Meryl Streep say? She said that uh, Trump, Trump uh, is like abused that abused that uh, handicapped guy, and then she made some. Uh, I didn't really even see it. Uh, she she made some fucking comment about if if we we don't watch movies anymore, then all that's left is going to be MMA and football, which is like oh, come which on. sounds all right. Yeah, I like, I like those, those things. things are tight. Like, yeah. I like movies. How too. funny it would be if someone rushed the stage and beat the shit out of Meryl Streep, <laughs> just arm barred her, her snapped her arm, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking choked her out, <laughs> fish hooked her, ripped her eyelids off. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, man. It was like one of those. Everyone's going. Buck, if we buck don't wild watch movies, shut the fuck up. Like that's what I mean. It's I don't give a shit about the Donald Trump thing, mm-hmm. but even that, so, so for some reason, movies are so much fucking better. As oh, if, yeah. as if. If the entertainment industry isn't equally responsible for raping people and exploiting right, them right, right. and protecting uh, predators. 100%. 100%. <coughs> Roman, yeah. Roman innocent. Polanski. Roman innocent. Polanski innocent. <laughs> free, 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 free my pol- you know what Roman. <laughs> yeah. Free my Jew. Free my Holocaust survivor. Um, um, but you know, absolutely what's going to happen well, you is know Meryl Streep is going to play Hillary Clinton in a fucking horrible movie. Oh, is that why she's already, she's I method acting it, by dude. being unlikable and saying the wrong thing in public? <laughs> well, no, I, I mean. She has, she's preparing for the role by being a detestable fucking piece of shit. No, she's an incredible actor. Like, she right? Is, she yeah. is. She's yeah. like one of the best actors in the world. No, but I wouldn't go that far. You don't think so? No. She's incredible. You Delaware, see doubt? I'm not bad, but I, did you see doubt that I mean, she's she's dope, dude? She always kills it. 
I mean, I'm not going like to say... It. I'm not saying she's a bad actress, but one of the most incredible actors. I think she's one of the best actors in Hollywood, yeah. yeah. First of all, I don't like that you're calling her an actor and not an actress. Oh, I don't, gender, I don't, I don't, I don't like gender. the underlying politics here. <laughs> all right, fine. She's one of the best stewardesses in yeah. Hollywood. She's one of the a play- nurse. The term is nurse. <laughs> <laughs> female anything is called a nurse. <laughs> uh, yeah, but like... Uh, you know, obviously that's lame as shit. The uh, you know the how, what, how, the movie that won apparently is this movie La La Land. Yeah, it's a musical. It seems horrible, which is one of the, says it's good. They make these movies. Did Moonlight win anything? It, it won yeah, something. I guess I kind of want to see won. that, but I'm worried it's going to be uh, like I'm. It's not going gonna... to turn you gay. No, no it's not going to turn me gay, but that I won't get anything out of it. It's really. I good. was saying I kind of want to shoot a movie that's just two hours of like a, a, a like an interracial trans couple literally just fucking, but you you know shoot it with <laughs> like. Uh, <laughs> Like on like DSLRs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Make it look real. Spend a lot of time Malik. on like yeah, on like color correction and shit. And uh, maybe there's like some subplot about them getting fired from a coffee shop. <laughs> but they live in Bushwick. They're trans. They fuck each other. And then just make make sure it's just pornography <laughs> and see if you can win any awards. <laughs> I would like no, to do a movie no, where there's just Moonlight is nothing like that. Moonlight's okay. incredible. Actually, I went into it not knowing what it was at all, and yeah. it, it made it way better. Like. Uh, I didn't. Know I, I, don't know. I tried. There was some movie I tried to watch. It was like uh, like white girls or something. It wasn't white girls. I forget oh, yeah, what the yeah, fuck yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 but it's yeah. like yeah, just white chicks with the Wayans brothers. No, <laughs> that's a, that's an excellent film. And no, I no, do no. think this that this movie that came out. This <laughs> movie that came out like uh, this year, where it's like it's you know, white girls in the title, it's, it's something like that. Yeah, they just do drugs and it's NC seventeen. Yeah, they just do drugs and there's like a Latino boyfriend. And it's like I'm not annoyed with like the representation, but it's like this is such a boring fucking movie. It's young people sitting around doing fucking drugs that doesn't impress me mm-hmm. i'm not like oh wow oh wow yeah they yeah. had sex yeah <laughs> hey, i don't understand. i don't know that sounds pretty cool to me yeah, yeah i watched having the, sex i watched the mtv network there's the got to be day. a spy there's got to be <laughs> a bridge you know <laughs> so that the bl- spies <laughs> meet on that's yeah. what it, that's a, that's the recipe for a good movie yeah you need a, guy a bridge to come. in there a spy maybe some disguises maybe a guy that's a master of disguises Ooh. you know oh maybe Maybe, maybe. Have you Turtle seen that costume. movie? Yeah, have yeah, you seen yeah, that yeah. movie? I saw it in theaters. Incredible. You did? That is one Incredible. of the worst movies I've ever seen in my Yo, entire it is, life. It is so fucking bad. Yeah. You know, you know you my man a, thought he was purged, yeah. like poised for a comeback. Right. Too. Uh, you know what would be a good sequel is, is Master, of yeah. <laughs> Master of Races. Starring Dana Carvey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's uh, an Aryan. But he yeah. can play any race. He can play he any did race. He just release a special that was Yeah, he goes like, straight white male, age Which, 60. There's no way it's good. Yeah, I, I saw the My title of that. My parents just saw him like, this weekend. You know, this is going to be the most tone deaf. Absolutely. There's no way. I mean, like, I'm, I'm like not even 30. And it's like, I already feel out of touch. Right, right, right. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't think that I could say anything that's, like, really culturally relevant well, or uh, get my finger on the pulse of, of what people are thinking. No way, right dude. Now. But, you know, that's probably exactly what happened. He just came up with a new hour, and it probably was not that good or not that, like, in touch. And he was like, well, I'm going to lean into it and just call it straight. So... It looks like I'm aware that yeah. this is bad. Dude, we, did you hear that story about fucking, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, there's the ticket. What's, what's his name? The actor. John Lovitz. Oh, John Lovitz. My parents just saw Dana Carvey and John, John Lovitz, Lovitz this week. John Lovitz at fucking uh, Draft House yeah, or something yeah, yeah. when, uh, I think it was Milner. His closer. Well, then Milner was, when Milner was saying, he was like, yeah, we had to, uh, uh, he had to have a cop hold around to the back of the venue to take him out because he was worried people were going to beat him up. He was like saying that. Because uh, he's a Republican? No, because he was on stage and he's like, what, what the fuck are trannies? Back when I was young, it was just called being a fag. <laughs> Did I tell you? <laughs> John Lovitz was saying this Did shit. People were like booing him and yeah. threatening him. <laughs> he's closer for I think a long time. He did time. a bit about the N word, which is just a Louis bit, by the way. But he's yeah. like, when you say the N word, everyone's thinking the words. So aren't you just saying the word? Yeah, you know? I know the Louis bit. Well, That's he's got, Louis bit. He's got his closer for a long time was just a song, and it was like. It was just like Bob, my friend Bob Saget is gay. Is a faggot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like that's like that was the big musical number. He told yeah my my folks saw saw him and Dana Carvey this weekend, and my dad called me to to tell me the bit. 
And I was like, I don't really think that's that funny. But. Well, Norm, I love anytime Norm talks about him on a podcast about doing comedy, just shits on him because it's like Lovitz was never a stand-up. He's just like a guy who's like famous now and he's needs a way to get money. Yeah. So like, like, like I Chris want Kattan, that, dude. I want to, I want to just, I want like, fame and then just to go around just being terrible at comedy. I know, yeah. It's the same thing I do now, David except, Allen Greer, but with, with a lot more money. I bet you David Allen Greer is at least interesting to watch. I, I, I saw him at Draft House. He was Steve-O, yeah. Steve-O. And and uh, what's his Steve name? Uh, Mankind. Uh, Tom Green is a Foley, Mick Foley. Yeah. yeah. Is Tom Green a good stand-up? No. I don't know, but I, I don't know. It's he's weird. Inter- he's good. I mean, he's he's a funny. Good it's dude. weird that like people. Comedy is so hot right M- now. Mike Diesel. Uh, one time. Like uh, Mike Diesel, uh, yeah, yeah, explained yeah. him on the podcast before. This guy that booked the fucking open mic, uh, yeah, the, the, he, well, bowling he booked, shirt, he pig booked, man. yeah, he book, booked uh, uh, Wise Acres in Northern Virginia, but he was like a pathological liar or right. whatever. And uh, so he would, anytime any comic was brought up, he'd be like, "Yeah, we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna have him through the club," uh, you know. And it's like. I, we see the headshots on the wall. We right, know right, right. who fucking comes through here. Right, right, right. It's the drum comic, the coach, and then like from 40, the magic 45, guy, forty-five fat guys that all had their like fucking aorta explode at age thirty-seven, <laughs> and they, you know, <laughs> from coke and sandwiches, yeah, pretty much, yeah, from free comedy club bar food, from uh, from fuck. fried pickles and King Kong nachos, yeah. and all all that shit. Fuck yeah, yeah, quesadillas with fried chicken yeah, in them, the chili burger, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah. So, but uh, one time comics were just talking about Emerald Lagasse and this is like 10 years ago. So it was when like Emer- Emerald show was real yeah, big yeah. or whatever. He was huge. Yeah. And bam was a yeah, big yeah. joke everywhere. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So it's like two comics were talking about Emerald. I think it was Andy Klein and somebody else and fucking diesel comes up and he's like, uh, yeah, we're actually going to have him through the club because <laughs> he thought they were just talking about a comic. So he decided to just lie about it. And they were like to do what? And he's like, you know, it, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, we're just gonna have him here. So, do what, Mike? Just cook on the stage, dude. The worst part is, I could see Emerald would could get booked to headline a club so much better than a good comedy. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. credits. Like if Emerald was like, I want to do comedy. Oh yeah, every club would headline. That's him. the thing what, that sucks you- about stand up is that like audiences are fucking retarded. No, like they, the people absolutely. That, and, and, and I don't mean maybe in their personal lives they aren't, but something happens to people when they enter a comedy club mm-hmm. that they just become abject fucking well, retards. It's shocking. They get drunk. They want something to just go fucking do. But it's also shocking how many people don't even like comedy in their personal yeah, lives. Yeah. They go to comedy clubs. Yeah, all they want is to be shit on. Dude, all they want is hack shit. How, yeah. how fucking funny is it that like the thing that we've chosen to pursue is on par with like oh, let's just go bowling tonight. Right, right, yeah. right, right, right. That it would be like if you were really trying to be the best guy at setting up the pins at a <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. bowling alley. It's not even being. It's not even bowling. Yeah, it's yeah. working at a bowling yeah, alley. <laughs> it's working at a bowling alley. Is is what being a comedian is. Well, the other thing but, is, but but uh, I saw. A guy, I saw a guy crush in Detroit, and I forget who he was. I was, I was trashed. I was yeah, really yeah. fucking drunk, and I was there for a festival. And there was a guy that just went on stage, and as far as my memory goes, he was the red shirt guy. He dressed in all red, and he handed out red shirts, and he just played music. And it was like this isn't even com. He's yeah. not even attempting comedy, <laughs> and people loved it because it was just a guy handing out shirts. Jesus, it didn't Christ. say anything. Free on shirts are. I don't think. Tight. Yeah, <laughs> I fuck with free shirts. Yeah, oh, dude, no. it's fu- it sucks. Comedy sucks, dude. But well, how many people do you, do you bump sucks. into that go to even good clubs and like this is my first comedy show and it's like. What? The How only, is this your first comedy? But I guess there's no real comedy yeah. fans anymore because the people that are, are were comedy fans are now just doing comedy. They do mics. They also edit. You know, I mean, that's not true, dude. Podcasts. True. People at work love listening to fucking. Yeah, podcasts. people love podcasts. That's more not stand up comedy. comedy. I'm talking yeah, about they, to some people. No, it to is, some dude. people, that's what comedy is. Become. Yeah, but it's fucking not, dude. I mean, yeah, this is not. This com- isn't no, edited no. or honed. No show is. I mean, no. I mean, maybe there are show podcasts out there where they write all this stuff in advance. But no. even then, that's not stand up comedy. No, it's not even no. close. Yeah, yeah. Well, another thing is like going back to the Lovitz thing is like there are a ton of comedic actors who do comedy shit and then try to go into stand up. 
that because stand up is so hot easy. right now. So well, it's they, not that it's so hot. So what they do is they work like the meltdown room in L.A. They work like kind of alty rooms where everyone knows them from you know children's hospital or whatever, and then they they crush and then they get their thirty minutes, which sucks because they've been like because people give them laughs just because yeah, they were yeah, from yeah. the TV, right, right, right? And then they sell it to Netflix and make a ton of money. You know that well, that that's become like a fucking business model for a ton of like comedic actors. Who fucking suck Who think that stand up well, isn't we're a gonna skill do. We're going to make this to- podcast number one And then we're going to produce the world's shittiest web series <laughs> And we're going to get go. jaded And then we're going to sell the, sell it And then we're going to be you know terrible like everybody else That's I can't fine. wait dude I would yeah. love to be Do you remember when what's his name Cordry was hosting Cordry. Was hosting at Benson Ball Jamel was on that show I wasn't at that show Dude it was like insane It was He was doing Brody, bits- Brody Stevens did my show and he's good yeah, he's he's hilarious. Yeah, I'm not going to get into the uh, habit of shitting on people specifically, though. Yeah. especially yeah. guys he's that I think are funny. funny. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. super funny. Uh, you know? uh, uh, Adam Friedland said it right here, right now. It's crazy. Rob dude, Cordry is a would terrible say that about comedian. Rob no, yeah. I wouldn't yeah, say we that. both we all love. We're Rob both Cordry, looking man. at you so like, why up. would you fucking say we're that? Like, Adam, please. I was holding up a sign and said, Adam, please yeah. stop. I told a story about I told a story about how Emeril Lagasse shouldn't do comedy, which is fair. I didn't say he was a bad cook. I didn't come on the podcast and publicly announce that Rob Cordry is a fucking bad comedian. Well, let me go through my list right now. Bad comics. Go ahead. Okay. Um, Louis C.K. Louis C.K. Yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Uh, you got Yeti. Norm McDonald. Norm McDonald. I want to read his book. Shit. I haven't read his book yet. I have it. I yeah, have it. You can have it. Uh, I want to read it. a book. I think it would be cool to read Norm, I still haven't finished yeah. Blood Norm's, Norm's, I've never seen a book. I've never, you know, looked at a book. So all the listeners, <laughs> Norm's book is incredible and you should read it. It's like a work of fucking... He's, he's, he's so it's like a good. great novel. I always thought it was funny to do like a sketch. I used to have his bookshelf with like four books on it and I always wanted to do like a a sketch where it's like a girl bringing like a guy back to her, her apartment and there's like a bookshelf with like maybe seven books on it and he just looks at it and he's like have you read all these books? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's just it's just the dictionary. Wow. Yeah. I Wow, um, that's amazing. The, Owen Wilson. <laughs> yeah, <a little> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 You, you read all these you books? You read all these books? Wow. Wow. Maybe I wow. won't try and kill myself. Who made him try to kill himself? I think he did it. He just did. No, it was Andy Dick got him on? No, no, no it wasn't Andy. No, no Andy no, Dick got Phil, Andy got Dick Andy got Dick Phil Dick Hartman's wife on coke. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, Damn. that's yeah. why she cut it, uh, She killed him. That's yeah. why she killed him. So we should yeah. kill Andy Dick. It's Andy Dick's fault. Well, we should do a fatwa against No, Andy we should Dick. get Andy Dick's husband on cocaine. Mm. So they um, have him fuck Brandon. Oh, no, no. Steve Coogan. Didn't people say Steve Coogan got uh, Owen Wilson on smack? And that's really? why he was about to kill himself? Yeah, he was like addicted to heroin. The Coogs. Yeah. Coogs, I love Steve Coogan. Coogan's great. Oh, man. Why is he saw, bigger? I saw an advertisement because for Because Ricky the... Gervais stole his yeah, life. Yeah, you're right. Ricky Gervais literally stole his... He's so much better than Stole Ricky his Gervais. world. I saw, I saw an advertisement for uh, the AARP on like network television. Where it's like, uh, you know, it's like a woman and she's like scrolling through the ARP website and her friend who's a man is like, what are you doing on ARP? And she's like, well, you qualify for yourself too, Mr. 50, <laughs> you know, and he's like, I don't know about that. You know, he's apprehensive about admitting that he's old enough to join the ARP, but none of those people will ever be able to retire. <laughs> right, right, so, right, right, right. And then she's like, yeah, well, check out all you're missing out on. And then she's just like looking at pictures of Ted Nugent. <laughs> it's like one of the benefits. Benefits of being in the ARP is that you get to see pictures. You of get Ted Nugent's Ted Flickr Nugent account. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ted Nugent with cat scratch fever. Yeah, which is sex with an underage Polynesian woman. All right. Well, we're out of time. Great. So I just want to say I love you, Rob. Yeah. yeah no, sure. you're gonna you, you're gonna it's fucked up. Fucking be eating crow. Yeah. Once Rob Cordry here. Did you this. know that he it's asked not us kosher. To, he asked us to reboot Children's Hospital. I like you're out. I'm a fan, dude. You're out. Dude. Wait, he just wanted the cum boys? Yeah, but he said as long as no one trashed me on the podcast. Fuck that was his one We're fucked. That was his one condition. I'm yeah. fucked. I'm so out with fucked. I'm out with the the ants to, which by the way is not a big deal. I think ant ants going to do the show. Did you talk to him? Yeah, I talked to Ant about it. He's fine. 
I saw him. the clip it's, from his podcast. He wasn't really that mad. Yeah, well, because it's like uh, again, uh, 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 he was wrong about the fucking thing. I'm uh, like, I feel like I'm entitled to just say, yeah, he's fucking wrong about it. Also, you notice no one put in the fucking part where we sucked him off and said he was the funniest dude. Yeah, yeah they yeah, edited yeah. out the fact like, that we yeah. we're all we huge well, fans. Is it's these like shithead fucking you know tattles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, literally tattletales. They're yeah. like, oh, that's a bitch move. What, time to bust out Adobe Audition. And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And make my little tattletale clip. Maybe it'll retweet yeah, me. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fucking losers. Right. So <laughs> yeah, just fucking guys that tattletale to Mike Francesca all day long. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is a faggot, Mike. <laughs> yeah. So if you were, uh, if you I were, I got really strong opinions on the Jets. <laughs> yeah. No, there's no bad blood between Cumtown and and Ant. Um, and if there was, we would just fucking talk about it. It's like not. Yeah. Like, I don't understand why people think that that would be like an issue to fucking. Yeah. Well, we said that there was. We're, this is the podcast. You just heard Adam say out loud he hates Rob Corddry. <laughs> yeah. Don't. The most powerful man in show business. <laughs> Probably like if you look at Adam's career track, he's going to be a Rob Corddry type. And oh, so man. he's going after, you know, the one guy that can help him. So we're, we're, up, we're yeah we're not afraid to confront anybody yeah that's on yeah, the that's show <sighs> At, and this is the show where we, again where Adam says fuck Rob Corddry <laughs> fuck Louis C.K. Adam hates all these people and he doesn't give a shit before about the show he's talking about how Tig is yeah. a fraud. I don't she think she had cancer. cancer. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and I, I think she's heterosexual too. <laughs> I think she's trying to get that LGBT money <laughs> and that cancer money. I want to get a tattoo that says LGBT, but that like every letter has the two striped dollar sign, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, symbol. True. Well, LGBT. Nope. Let's get big titties. Yeah. You just don't know that it's. Oh for my a gay god, thing. that'd be such a good like Ocean <laughs> City, Maryland boardwalk T-shirt. Let's get love big giant big titties. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like. Woo! LGBT yeah. baby You have no idea it's like, I love it I love it I just think it'd be funny If the T in LGBT Stood for trains Not trans mm -hmm. You know And on that note everyone <laughs> Thank you uh. <laughs> wow But so. seriously Fuck Rob Cordry <laughs> um, uh, So come to our live show January uh, Yeah in a couple weeks It's actually coming up I always forget that it's coming up uh, The 23rd I think I'll look it up right now Um Yes, yeah. we got a live show. The we fourth got... Monday of this month. Uh, come on, everybody. We're also we're at Caroline's next month, and hopefully we'll we'll talk after this. But I want we should we we're hopefully come out and see some people uh, in your cities. Um, so we're doing North Texas. <laughs> what? When's the fucking live show, dude? The li I, I'm looking. Find it. Where's my calendar app? Um, it's February twenty first. Twenty third. About... No, no, that's the Caroline's one. We also do January twenty third at Come On Everybody. Uh, which is in about two weeks. A week, uh, yeah, week and a half, two weeks. Cool. Um, yeah, and then otherwise we'll be we'll be around. Also, add me on PlayStation. I don't have any friends on PlayStation. Yeah, I gotta buy PlayStation. And f um, yeah, do Patreon too if you don't already. I was I was asking the other day is is um, Xbox Live more racist than PSN? Uh, yeah, because it's it free. Is, right? it's free. Yeah. Because it's free. No, it's not. They're, neither of them are free. Oh, I thought Xbox was free. No, no. In fact, that that's the fact that it costs money makes it more racist because it means that minorities don't have access to it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like a poll tax. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, like, honestly, you go and play, uh, like, you play, there's so funny, I remember, like, it, like 10 years ago, whenever, like, you started, like, online games with, like, headsets and shit, you would play a game for a while and then the price would drop and as soon as the price dropped, it, you would, like, you know, you'd be playing when it came out and be like, yeah, uh, like we got to go over here, like capture this objective. This guy's a faggot, or you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, fuck this guy. You know, this guy's fucking camping or whatever. And then the price would drop, and it's like, hey, yo quiero. <laughs> <laughs> like, <Jesus. immediately. laughs> immediately, and then also guys from t like Texas wiggers would show yeah, up, yeah, yeah. which is always a weird like, yeah, me and my partners, uh, <laughs> Paul Walls, Paul, Paul Walls, yeah, 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 Paul Walls, yeah. <laughs> you know, me and my partners. That's a funny kind of. So Funny. I love that they I love said partner because yeah. it's also the gay term for boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, me and my life partner. <laughs> yeah, we we're going this for me and my life partners. Out we're here. dedicating ourselves, penetrating each other. <laughs> me and my partner. Yeah. 
Um, um, all right. Uh, well, yeah. So, yeah, I guess those are the shows coming up. I will we'll figure it out. I, I do want to have Ann on because like, Ann is is uh, great to you know totally. fucking chat with. So funny. Um, and then that's the, the 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 one the one hesitation is like I think that's the last big guest that we could do. I've kind of exhausted my. Well, list there's of we the one Bobby, guy, man. We got to talk Ooh. about it. Uh, Vampire Weekend. Oh, right. Well, he hasn't agreed to do the show. <laughs> well, he agreed to do the show. Fans, Vampire Weekend, uh, Ezra Klein from Vox.com, <laughs> Ezra, <laughs> Ezra Koenig, <laughs> said that he wanted to do Come Town, so you, whatever. Yeah. Oh, and He Ashton probably Kutcher. will never do it. And Ashton Kutcher also. And Danny uh, Masterson. What a fucking asshole name, by the way. Ashton Kutcher. You hear it all the time, so you stop thinking about it. But Jesus, that and Macaulay Culkin, what a fucking shitty name. Yeah. Ashton's worse than Macaulay. Mm. Macaulay Culkin is a, is like the best child actor. It's like Kutcher is douchier just, than Culkin. I think Kutcher's a little. Uh, Kutcher? I'll give you Macaulay, but I think Kutcher is worse than. Culkin. How about this, uh, Macaulay Kutcher? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that sounds like an ad agency. It does. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the episode. You know, hey, if you don't like the show, uh, yeah, that's fair. Suck our fat cocks, no, bitch. I, I understand. You know, no, I'm, I I'm say kind suck of on dick. board. I just I'm one of the finish. guys that hate the show. Yeah, I hate it too. But fuck you. You don't show me disrespect. I'm one. Of, I'm one of the guys that, that thinks the show's not racist enough. Now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to say to all of those guys that uh, Black Lives Matter. <laughs> yeah. And if you they do Black Lives Matter, if you're uh, I love if you're that, racist, Adam pointed I, out there was one guy that was like. It, it was, was like it was so funny. <laughs> he's like fucking. He was like, oh, these stores never recovered, dude. There was some girl that was raped and fed to alligators. <laughs> it's like, yeah, in Florida, what dude. What the fuck are you talking? Yeah, about? these these dudes that are like so fucking paranoid about a genocide against white people. One of them was like replying to Nick's tweets, and he's like, dude, they raped a girl and they fed her to gators. In yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. like one of his. That's his evidence. The, uh, dude, the Black Lives Matters is feeding girls to right. gators. <laughs> the definitely not bitch move is to live in fear about the knockout game yeah, yeah. that's the way to prove yeah, that yeah. you're not a fucking coward is to <laughs> that's the thing is spend that... all your time worried about the fucking knockout game and being fed to alligators <laughs> they're fucking snowflakes <laughs> they're 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 uh you heard white racist, supremacist adam racist will fight you snowflakes i mean snowflakes are white dude it's better for whatever yeah. <laughs> snowflakes are white they're cold you know they're icy. They're beautiful. <laughs> I don't understand what the problem they're is. Pure. <laughs> they're pure. They're pure. Right, what the fuck are we they're talking Aryan? about? We've know. been ending this fucking episode for 20 minutes. No, I, we haven't. We, it's literally been two minutes. Really? Yeah. All I'm right. delirious, dude. I'm well, thank you, delirium. as always, for all the sweeties that listen to the show. We yeah, really yeah holler it. at us. You guys are sweeties, seriously. I'm single and I'm ready to mingle. Yeah, thanks for listening to the show. You know, steal it, do whatever, tell people Don't to steal listen it. to it. Even if you do hate this it. This is you the wanna, free one. Even if you do hate it and you want, you know, to say, hey, look at these fucking assholes who we don't like. You know, to be honest with you, like, I, you know, I, 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 I say all that shit, but like... That's what fans are. They're people that fucking, like, you know, they listen to every show and they're like, oh, you're a fucking faggot or whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really mind it. I mean, it's fucking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I like It's kind sports. of cool. Yeah, right. Yeah. Exactly. It's the that's, same thing. That's all fans so, are sitting in the stands saying. Yeah. So I'm a faggot. I, I, I appreciate it, dude. <laughs> yeah. I threw three interceptions this episode. You are gay. <laughs> I'm the Eli man. We all agree. Of the podcast. Adam is gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. what we can all build on. <laughs> <laughs> people that hate this show. Let's people build a community. Show. Let's build a community. Let's build I'm around <laughs> Adam being gay. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing, man. We need we need unity in this That's country, the and I think the ticket is specific anti-Semitism <laughs> yeah. directed at actual individuals, not this sort of generic nebulous yeah, anti-Semitism. No plot. That's divisive. You pick a Jew yep. and you go after yep, one absolutely. specific Jew. It's me together. I'm the problem. You know how you know if if Hitler picked one Jew <laughs> that he really didn't like, <laughs> would people have thought he was such a bad guy? Yeah, they would have given him that one guy. If it was the one would've guy. Gone. He could have taken over the world and wouldn't have been a problem. That's true. Yeah. He should have only killed one Jew. Well, uh, sure. I don't think there's a way to fix any of what <laughs> no. I just said. So. No, no, no. We're <laughs> fucked. Yeah. All right. You guys are fun. Thanks. <laughs>